virtually this year, uh, which means that we were given the morning off uh, to worship with our congregations, and um, I, I'm just so excited to be able to do that, but I'm also excited this morning because uh, this morning we're going to bring you uh, uh, the Episcopal address from our bishop as our message today, so um, we'll go through the service, it'll be much like we, we do everything, we have communion this morning, and um, but, but our message this morning is going to come from Bishop Lori, uh, so stay tuned for that. Let's invite God into this place. God, we come to be with you today. And so we ask you to be here. You're with us always, but we want to know you in a different way today. 
you want to hear your voice, you want to feel your inspiration, you want to know your presence. We give you this time. We ask you to give yourself to us. In your name we pray. Amen. All right, I have just a few things to uh, lift up uh, this morning. Uh, the first one is, is um, I'm going to call out Abby right now as she's walking in the door after 9.30. <laughs> and the only reason why I would ever do that is because I was about to announce that we would like for you to celebrate with Abby next weekend. Um, we're having a, a party for her graduation here at the church from 4 to 7. And uh, you're all invited, so um, please uh, come and celebrate with Abby. Um, if you can't be here, say something to her on the way out. I can embarrass her. Um, make sure that she um, says thank you back. All right. Very good. Good morning, Abby. Glad you're here. Right. Um, I don't have anything else uh, by way of announcements this morning. Is there anybody else has an announcement this morning? Yes, Mike. So I didn't clear this with you, but we kind of talked about this. You know, we have some older pews back in the fellowship hall that we're not using and we don't want to keep. And they're really messing up the party that we're going to have for uh, Abby. <laughs> so we really like those to be on your front porch, in your garage. Um, we've got a couple people who help you deliver them. So come see me. There are, I think, four of them back there. I hope that was okay. That is absolutely okay, because if you don't take them home, they're going out between the shed and the building by Tuesday, so come and get them. Um, they will not stay in the fellowship hall. Okay, yes? Um, thank you to everyone who loaded this cooler, who provided food, who came and helped with the Chadwick uh, service on Wednesday. And if you brought food, the containers that you brought uh, it in is back in fellowship hall, as well as several coolers. So. All right, so take home your cooler and your dish and a few. All right. <laughs> yes? I would go a step further to say thank you to this wonderful church, to you, to the skunks, to the ladies that helped. I mean, there are just so many things. All the cards that I've gotten, the donations, everything. It's been wonderful. Nothing like they I'm so glad to be back. Thank you. <laughs> Well, as I told you, it is annual conference weekend, um, and uh, it, it's a little unusual uh, being at annual conference this way. Um, it, it's very, very different. The part of my favorite part about annual conference is being there and being able to see uh, colleagues and friends, and, and to be able to uh, go out to dinner and, and uh, uh, talk over a good meal, um, several good meals probably, um, and and just have a great time. But because I was home uh, yesterday uh, evening after a long day at annual conference, I decided it was good to get out and to enjoy uh, some sunshine and, and uh, get take a walk in the park. And so Nathan and I played uh, Maytag uh, for disc golf. That's one of the things that we like to do together. And uh, Kinnick and Wendy uh, went for a, a good long sniff along with us because uh, that's what Kinnick likes to do uh, while we're disc golfing. <laughs> Um, while we were there, I was reminded that um, there are a lot of folks who are just trying to make ends meet. There was a, there was a guy looking through the, the trash cans for cans of bottles. So while I, I appreciate that, that uh, people do that because we shouldn't throw away those things, all right? they should be uh, recycled, and, and if they can have a, a nickel for it, great. Um, but I was also reminded that that would be an awfully hard way to make ends meet. In um, Bishop Lori's message this morning, she's going to encounter a scripture. And it's the scripture of the Syrophoenician woman who had a daughter who was ill, and she goes to talk to Jesus. And she tells Jesus that, that he should heal her because even the dogs get the scraps from the children's table. And while she's not using that to talk about hunger, it does remind us <coughs> that hunger is an issue for whether we are experiencing hunger in our own lives or whether there are just those in our community and there are those in our community who are experiencing hunger, I'd just like to take a moment to reflect and to remember those who are struggling. For those who are just trying any way they can uh, to make ends meet. And as you listen to Bishop Lori today talk about the reasons why Jesus and, and Jesus' grace is available to us, 
let's also extend grace to those in our community who uh, need a little extra. You know, there's always a Salvation Army um, basket, uh, basket out there or the food pantry, um, shopping cart out there, um, and, and uh, you can always bring a little extra um, and, and help share uh, with our community. So um, that's what I'd like to say as we begin our worship this morning. Would you take a moment to uh, look across the aisle and uh, greet those who are around you? Take a moment to wave at those on the camera. Joining us remotely. All right. And then let's uh, stand and sing our opening hymn number 435.
beloved children of God. Is there anybody who's celebrating a birthday this week? Leslie is. Leslie is, all right. What day, Leslie? It's Friday. Friday. Anybody else? God, we give you thanks for the gift of life and for birthdays and for Leslie's birthday this week. Lord, as she experiences this uh, trip around the sun, Lord, we pray that you uh, would bless her, that you would bless this year, and that you would bless uh, and, and strengthen her relationship with you. In your name we pray. Amen. Are there any that are celebrating an anniversary this week? Excellent. What Jimmy day? and I are celebrating an mm -hmm. anniversary on Friday. Friday. Excellent. Right. You let them get married on your on your birthday? Wow. All right. <laughs> Let's uh, God, we give you thanks uh, for the, the gift of love that we experience as uh, we, we celebrate anniversaries. Lord, uh, we pray that this next year would be a blessed year uh, and that you would um, uh, allow their relationship to grow even closer and, and even closer to you. In your name we pray. Do you all have joys and concerns to share with each other this morning? Amy's bringing some forward. Are there others you'd like to share? Go ahead. Yeah, it was a real joy for Pam and I to be able to be at the Marshalltown VA yesterday and see my dad, Bill Barker, and 16 other veterans receive quilts of valor for their service to our country. Very good. Lord, in your mercy. This one is from Bill Ponder, uh, continued prayers uh, for his daughter. Um, is that Mary Jo or Marjo? Mary Jo. Mary Jo, thank you, Bill. Um, who's receiving chemo treatments. Lord, in your mercy. And from Rose Evans for her mother, who's in the hospital and Trying to control her blood pressure. Lord, in your mercy. Are there others? There are any people that went unspoken today? Let us pray again. God, we thank you for including us. We were not in your original covenant, and yet you chose to widen the circle and to bring us all in to your family. And Lord, we know a part of that is that you care for us so deeply that you don't want us to suffer, even when we do. And so, Lord, we count on your presence, we count on your care, we count on your healing power. And we pray for that today, for those prayers that we lifted up. Lord, we pray always together, every week when we gather, for earth to become more like heaven, for your will to be done here for us to be able to reflect the ways that you have given to us. So we say those things now together as we seek to have them become reality. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Well, it is good for us to be together. For when we 
gather, we become the body of Christ. And that is one of the things that, that we are reminded of every time we gather to worship our God. That we are the body of Christ. And as we gather for this meal, this meal that Jesus gave to us, to not only nourish our bodies, but to nourish our souls. And to nourish this world. Because it brings Christ together again. And compels us to be in ministry with the whole world. It is on this night in which he gave himself up for us. That Jesus took bread. He broke that bread. He gave it to his disciples. And he said, eat all of you. This is my body which is given for you. As often as you eat this, remember me. After the supper was over, he took the cup and he gave thanks to God. And then he gave the cup to his disciples. He said, drink from you. Drink from this, all of you. This is my blood. It is the blood of a new covenant which is poured out for the forgiveness of sins for you, for many, for all. As often as you drink this. Do this in remembrance of me. And it is in remembrance of these mighty acts of Christ that we proclaim the mystery of faith that Christ has died, that Christ is risen, that Christ will come again. God, we ask you to pour out your Holy Spirit on those of us who are gathered here and on these gifts of bread and of juice. Make them be for us the body and the blood of Christ that we may be the body of Christ redeemed by his blood. Make us one with you. Make us one with each other. Make us one with the whole world. Until you come again. May all honor and glory be yours, almighty God, now and forever. Amen. Please take the cup that you were given. And remove the, the wafer in the top there. Eat and remember God, we give you thanks for this holy mystery, and it is a mystery to us how you can be contained in something as small as a little cup and a wafer. And yet, Lord, we know that your grace overflows and is enough for all of us. So we ask you to let us be instruments of that grace. Let us be reflections of your love. Let us be your hands and feet in this world as we go from this place. In your name we pray. Amen. Let's sing together. Praise to our God. Uh, number 454. <laughs>
Remember this week that you are beloved children of God, that that woman that spoke to Jesus allowed for us to be included in God's grace. Which means that others should be included in God's grace as well. So take the grace of God, which is contained within you, to the world this week. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you.